So this is the view that the 1st Minnesota Regiment had as the Alabamans advanced into the center of the Union ranks, 2nd Corps here, on the 2nd of July, 1863. You can see just a few hundred meters in front of this position, the terrain drops off where those trees are growing, which is a runoff where water flows through. And um, that dip would have kept the Alabamans out of visual observation for the 1st Minnesotans for a fair portion of their advance. Also presented an obstacle for the Minnesotans as they charged into the Confederate ranks, not knowing what lay ahead and wait for them. Yet nonetheless, the 1st Minnesota gallantly charged Minnesota, a state very far removed geographically from Gettysburg and very far removed from the institution of slavery for the most part. Yet here they were in central Pennsylvania on a brutally hot summer day, sacrificing all that they had for this great nation. 262 Minnesotans charged, bayonets fixed into the Confederate ranks, outnumbered four to one. Only 47 of them came out of that unscraped, unscathed, or still alive. 